the plane crash theory is based only on hearsay there were certain claims made by a few individuals that subhash and bose had died in a plane crash there was never any direct evidence americans accepted it when they did the first inquiry and even pandit nehru accepted this thing so there was never a never primary you no know, no direct evidence it is all based on statements made by people here and there and when these individuals were interrogated by the intelligence organizations and subsequently the commission and committee in india you had so many you know loopholes and you know contradictions in their account that nobody no even a third rate you know country in a court of law in that country would believe that that kind of a thing that whenever in our country we have a non congress government you find some you know positive steps taken uh, for subhash bose you know or in this direction of his death so the first breakthrough or rather would say the first big break came when muraji bhai became prime minister in 1978 we had for the first you know and bp singh time you know big change happened and uh, it was a big change happened when devi gowda became the prime minister and i would say even narasimha rao tried to do something different from the previous government in, in a manner of speaking in those this the uh, the chief justice of calcutta high court was prabhashankar mishra so the protocol as you know very well these in india that the chief justice of a uh, state high court is always not from that state so so this is not a you know, so this prabhashankar mishra ji was from up i met him he was in delhi he is no more what prabhashankar mishra mishra did he asked the government of india to state their stand on the case what do you think what is your stand you have done inquiries etc so this is stated in the court order that the government council of uh, and devi gowda was a prime minister in those days obviously they couldn't lie so they said that there are uh, there is a story of nita ji dying in a plane crash but the evidence is very sketchy and the eyewitness accounts are very uh, full of contradictions so the court order look you yourself admit there is a problem then you have an inquiry done find out what happened to this person when did he die and where did he die and whether these ashes are subhash bose or not mukherjee commission functioned between 1999 and 2005 and before mukherjee commission the government council took the stand nita ji did not die in fact the commission uh, uh, argument session happened in 2005 many months after Man- Man- manmohan singh government had come to power and they took the stand before com- the commission the government lawyer that there was no plane crash and subhash bose did not die and when the same commission of inquiry came out with a view that the plane crash had not happened there was an over somersault overnight and they said no he has died and you are wrong mm-hmm.